Hey guys, what is up? Mackie's Mad Sports and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over my second part of the best test players of the Australian summer. So if you haven't seen part one, um, you should definitely go watch that. It will be in a link in the description. But the way I've done the point system is every match I've given a player's rating out of 10. If they don't play, I'll give them a zero. But the lowest they can get is one if they do play. So now you know that, let's get into the video. So starting off in seventh with 24 points, Pat Cummins. Um, now, he in the first match, I gave him five points. The second match, he didn't play, so he got zero points. The third match, he I gave him nine points. The fourth match, I gave him four points. And in the last match, I gave him six points. So batting, he obviously had, he played four matches getting with two innings, no not out, no not outs, um, getting four runs and with a high score of four, an average of two and no 50s and no 100s. But he did get his four runs off of six balls. Now, bowling, he bowled 106.2 overs, getting 15 wickets for just 237 runs, with a best bowling innings of 5 for 42 and a best bowling match of 7 for 77, and with one 5 wicket innings and no 10 wicket matches. Also, with an economy of 2.22 and an average of 15.8. He also got two catches. Now, in sixth, with 25 points, I did Usman Kawaja. For the first two matches, I gave him five points. For the third match, I gave him three points. For the fourth match, I gave him two points. And for the last match, I gave him ten points. Now, he obviously played all five matches with eight innings, one not out, um, with 387 runs, with a high score of 195. Sadly, the, the Australians had to declare, so he couldn't get his 200. And with an average of 55.28, um, 250s and 100. He got his 387 runs off of 758 balls and also got took two catches. Now, in fifth with 32 points is Alex Carey. Now, for the first match, I gave him five points. The second match, I gave him seven points. Um, the third match, I gave him six points. The fourth match, I gave him nine points. And the fifth match, I gave him five points. Now, he played all five matches with four batting innings. He got two not outs. Um, and got 182 runs, also with a high score of 111, which was his first ever 100, and with an average of 91. He got no 50s, but got 100 as well, and he got his 182 runs off of 244 balls, also taking 23 catches, but getting no stumpings. Now, in fourth, with 34 points, I have Marnus Labashain, who in the first match I gave t or the full 10 points, the second match I gave him 9 points, the third match, I gave him three points. The fourth match, I gave him five points. And the final match, I gave him seven points. So, playing all five matches, he had all eight innings that he could bat in with two not outs, with 600, making 611 runs, with a high score of 204, an average of 101.83, and getting 150 in 300s. Now, he got his 611 runs off of 1,014 balls, which was the most balls any Australian faced in the entire series. He also got two catches and three runouts. And for bowling, he bowled 6.5 overs, getting no wickets and getting hit for 32 runs. With a best bowling innings and match of none for nine. And with no five wicket innings and no 10 wicket matches. But with an economy of 4.68. Now moving on to the top three. In third, we, I gave Steve Smith a total of 35 points. Um, for the first match, I gave him 10 points. The second match, I gave him four points. The third match, I gave him six points. The fourth match, I gave him um, seven points. And in the final match, I gave him eight points. So he played all five matches with eight batting innings. He got two not outs with, for getting 486 runs with a high score of 200 not out. An average of 81. He also got 150 and 200s. Now, bowling and also... Um, with his 486 runs, he got them off of 810 balls. Now, bowling, he bowled 4.5 overs, getting one wicket for 17 runs, with a best bowling innings of 1 for 9, and a best bowling match as well, 1 for 9. No 5 wicket innings and no 10 wicket matches, but with an economy of 3.51 and an average of 17. In the outfield, he also took 10 catches. Um, now, in second, with Nathan Lyon, I gave him 37 points. Um, the first match, I gave him 9 points. The second match, I gave him 8 points. The third and fourth match, I gave him 7 points. And in the final match, I gave him 6 points. Now, playing all five matches, he had just had two batting innings. 
He got no not outs with twenty five getting twenty five runs with a high score of twenty five, an average of twelve point five, um, no fifties and no hundreds, but getting his twenty five runs off of just twenty one balls. Bowling, he bowled one hundred ninety seven point five overs, getting twenty two wickets for, for five hundred sixteen runs. A best bowling innings of six for one hundred twenty eight, but a best bowling match of eight for one hundred eighty nine. And only getting one five wicket inning, but no ten wicket matches. We also with an economy of two point six and an average of twenty three point four five. And in the outfield, he got three catches. But now moving on to who I think it was the best player of the Test summer with forty one points. I reckon Travis Head was the best Test player was the best player of the Test summer. Um, the first match I gave him ten points. The second match I gave him nine points. The third match I gave him eight points. The fourth match I gave him six points, but in the final match I gave him eight points. Now playing all five matches, he just had, he had seven innings, getting one not out, getting five hundred and twenty five runs, with uh, with a high score of one hundred and seventy five and an average of eighty seven point five, eighty seven point five, um, getting four fifties and one hundred, um, and his five hundred twenty five runs came off of five hundred fifty two balls. Now, bowling, he bowled 18 overs, getting three wickets for just 54 runs, with a best bowling innings of 2 for 25 and a best bowling match of 2 for 29, um, with no 5 wicket innings and no 10 wicket matches, but with an economy of 3 and an average of just 18. And he also got one catch and one run out. So, so that is who I think are the best te- Australian players of the Test summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next video. Bye.